every scrap of news. Not that he still loved her. After all, she was his enemy. No, it was solely because, no, your enemy. But it would be great to see her. Even if they faced off across sword points, as they'd done so many times at school. The world was a less interesting place without her. I wonder what I could make with all these sword crafting materials, thought Renato. Ice walls only let you through if they knew you were cool. Anyone ever tell you you have a lovely eye? No? wasn't entirely sure how he was going to capture Zenobia. She'd be expecting him. And he didn't have Lapino to cook up a clever plan. Why was it again that he hadn't got the core? A crafting bench. Renato wondered what he could make with it. He wasn't that good, yet.
Can't we just agree to disagree? Said Renato. No? Renardo slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. Where were her guards? Finally, he reached her bedroom. She was curled up on her bed. Oh, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was. How sleek. How soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She vanished. And he suddenly noticed he couldn't move except his mouth. In fact, Soon he couldn't keep his mouth shut. He told Zenobia everything. Skyripper, the rebellion plans, even where the secret rebel base was, and till he was hoarse. It was some kind of truth spell. A talky, talky, talky truth spell. She called her father by Farspeaker Toad and filled his majesty in. But why didn't he get the core? Croaked the fire speaker in something like His Majesty's croak. Because I missed you, darling. Renato grinned. He doesn't even know why, frowned Zenobia. <laughs> that makes no sense. It, it's a trap, shouted the Emperor. I, I, I'll meet you at the outpost, and I'll bring my interrogators. Hmm. If Renato came face to face with the Emperor, maybe he could assassinate him. But maybe it would be smarter uh, and safer to turn Zenobia against her father. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? He asked her. She shook her head. He told her. His Majesty wanted to bring the Lost Gods back. They could make him an eater of souls. An immortal. But to seal his bargain with them, he needed a sacrifice. Someone who truly loved him. She was stunned. Furious. You're lying. Under a true spell? It's a trick. You can't prove that. Take me to the observatory, and I will. 